All right, YouTube, I figured I'd make a quick video um, just to show you this carburetor. So my last video, I was talking about this pull-behind mower. This pull-behind mower had been sitting outside for a while. Um, carburetor needed to be cleaned, and I said I actually had bought one off Amazon. Um, the carburetor I bought, 21 bucks. Uh, very, very cheap, and later in that video, towards the end, I mentioned how I had purchased uh, a cheap carburetor off eBay for the, the Grizzly that I've got. So that Grizzly carburetor um, that I purchased, $29, bought it, threw it on the, the Grizzly thing, auto fine, revved up fine, saw the issue I was having, okay? So this is the carburetor off that mower. Um, I'm no, nowhere near a carburetor expert, so, um, but I have seen a lot of carburetors. And this one, before I bought the new one, this thing, that is rust down in there um, I mean it you can scrape it out but this thing's been soaking for two days it's been soaking for two days and it's it's rust at the bottom I mean I could I will probably get a brush and clean it out the best I can but that's what that looks like um, now this goes on here like that and this main jet area has this bolt this bolt goes through the bowl and screws into the main jet area and this is the end of this bolt and if you notice that thing is also all rusted up and I'm afraid that when I start digging in there to clean that hole out that I'm gonna make the hole bigger than it's supposed to be because um, that's rust so and I just put the air hose blew through both of these holes um, my guess is they're supposed to be open that jet I tried to get it out with a screwdriver and a big screwdriver, and the screwdriver just uh, starts to turn. Um, so I was afraid I'm going to strip that jet. These two, nothing goes through them, um, blowing air or also blowing car uh, brake clean through it. Um, nothing goes through it. So those are probably clogged as well. So this carburetor um, <laughs> is pretty rough. Now, this same carburetor you can get. I mean, there's hundreds of them probably listed on eBay and Amazon for like 20 to 30 bucks. Um, some even cheaper. The one I'm getting for $21 has got comes with an air filter, the carburetor, and it might even come with a spark plug. Um, so for 20 bucks, if I can just slap it on there and it works fine, then it's definitely going to be worth it. I will go ahead and clean this one the best I can. Um, Going to check to see exactly what's up with these holes being clogged. Um, see if I can get through there, but I just wanted to show you what this carburetor did look like um, because I mentioned it in the last video, um, last video when I was talking about it, it was actually still in the dip tank. Now, I do have this ultrasonic cleaner, uh, looks kind of gross, this ultrasonic cleaner, I've been using this thing and I've been using different mixtures of cleaning chemicals that I've seen and it didn't really seem to be doing very well. Um, so I went out a couple weeks ago and bought an actual parts cleaner a container that seems to be a lot stronger than what I was cleaning with. Um, so that's what it's been sitting in for two days. And like I said, it's still full of rust towards the bottom. I was hoping that stuff would come out, but it's not actually, it's not gas right up in there. Um, or maybe it's a mixture, but uh, it's actually rust. So I'll do my best to get this thing cleaned out and see what it looks like. But once that new carburetor gets here tomorrow, I'm going to slap that one on. And if the mower runs good, then I'm just going to leave it alone and let it run. Um, for just using it in the summertime, maybe three times in the summer, three or four times. Um, even if I had to pay 21 bucks every year, it you know, wouldn't be that big of a deal. But like I said, this thing's been sitting, and I guess water just got into it somehow and completely rusted it up. Hopefully the motor is not that bad. The motor does turn over. Um, the, when I was pulling it the other day just to see, make sure it pulled, uh, the pull starter was wouldn't recoil like it was supposed to. So I took that off and sprayed it with some WD-40, and that's fine now. Um, but the motor does turn over and everything, so it's not like it's locked up from water getting down through the carburetor and into the motor. Um, but anyway, wanted to show you that and say that, I yes, I do have a carburetor coming, and we'll see how well that works. Um, but this is the, I guess it's the stock carbur uh, carburetor. Walbro from Mexico. And this one was five five four nine nine three is the number, um, and it's on a Swisher forty four inch 
pull behind, I guess the finishing mower. Um, all right. All right, check back later. Big Jones Garage.